Welcome to SAP UI 5 Tutorials by Tutorials Point. So in this course, we will cover SAP UI 5 from basic to advanced level. So in this particular video, we will be just covering what is SAP UI 5, the basic overview of SAP UI 5. So let's just look at the agenda for this particular session. So first I will just explain you SAP UI 5 overview and then I will just explain you the features of SAP UI 5 web applications and afterwards I will just explain the SAP UI 5 features as a technology and then I will just introduce you to Open UI 5 which is the open platform provided by SAP UI 5 and then I will just compare between SAP UI 5 and Open UI 5 and at the last I will just install the SAP UI 5 plugin in Eclipse. So let's just move on to the overview of SAP UI 5. So basically what is SAP UI 5? SAP UI 5 basically is the new user interface provided by SAP. So previously SAP used WebDIN Pro for its user interface. Now SAP is using SAP UI 5 and it, it is released in the late 2013. So in the Fury applications basically the front end is defined using SAP UI 5 and in the back end they are using ABAP itself. So SAP UI 5 is a Java, uh, client side JavaScript library and it also supports jQuery libraries and HTML5 and CSS and JavaScript libraries. Now we will move on to the features of SAP UI 5 web applications. So I have listed here three points that is first is the compatibility. So all these applications are compatible with all the devices. So if we are running on laptop or mobile or desktop. So these applications are compatible with all these devices. Now comes the responsiveness. So whenever we create a particular control using SAP UI 5, so this particular control is responsive. So it, it would have the same look and feel yes, uh, in all these app devices. And the last is that these particular web applications could access the native functionalities of the particular devices. That is, if we are using a mobile, it could access the camera functionalities. For example, if we, have, if we are integrating the Google Maps in SAP UI 5 application, so this application could access the GPS functionality or maybe GPS capabilities of the particular mobile devices. So these three are done. Now let's move on to the features of SAP UI 5 which, as a technology. So the first feature is that it supports, supports multiple controls. So there are around 500 controls supported by SAP, both simple and complex. And it also has this feature rich user experience that is it supports common design language. It also supports data models, data binding and it also is enterprise readiness that is it is robust and it also supports internalization, extensibility and it, it is also secure. And the last is that it is responsive, just as we discussed in the previous slide that all its controls are responsive. Now let's just see what is op Open UI 5. So with the name Open UI 5, we could al already assume what is it is uh, open platform. SAP has provided this non-licensed product that is Open UI 5. And it also, it is the same core of SAP UI 5. That is SAP UI 5 has this core libraries and this open UI5 also supports this core libraries and it also supports this themes and there are around 250 controls supported by open UI5. And it, it is also feature rich which means it supports data modeling, data binding and all the models and all it is supported by open UI5 also. So here I have just listed down some controls here which are supported. These are only some controls, there are many other controls like here I have mentioned menu, carousel, panel, toolbar and all. So these are some controls that are supported by Open UI 5. Now let's just compare between SAP UI 5 and Open UI 5. So SAP UI 5 is a licensed product, licensed product of SAP, but the Open UI 5, it is not the license, it is the open version and no license is required. So whenever SAP UI 5 versions are released, they are tested and checked. But whenever open UI 5 versions are released, they are not checked, they are just beta versions and they are put onto the GitHub so that developers could contribute to the particular open UI 5 version. But as such, no SAP UI 5 public contributions are supported. 
So the next difference between them is that SAP UiFi con supports all the features. So as I already told you, so there are it supports more than 500 controls, but Open UI 5 has limited controls only. So, like for an example, so SAP UI 5 supports this Viz control, that is the chart control. So, but Open UI 5 doesn't support the Viz control. So now let's just look at installing SAP UI 5 in Eclipse. So the first step would be to download and install Java, that is JDK 1.7. So here, why we are using JDK 1.7? since we are using Eclipse Luna 4.4 version. So the Luna 4.4 version only supports J JDK 1.7. So you could download this JDK 1.7 version go using this particular link here. And then what you have to do when it is installed, you have to set the environment variables in Java home, which is this particular URL in my case. So two steps are over and in the third step you have to download Eclipse Luna version which is the 4.4 version you can go to this particular URL and download the version here and the fourth step would be when all Eclipse and all are set up then you have to install SAP UI5 plugin in Eclipse and you can do this just following the video. So let's see how to install SAP UI5 plugin in Eclipse. So the version of Eclipse we will be using here is 4.4 that is the Luna version. So you could download any other version of Eclipse that is Neon or Mars something like that but here I will be using 4.4 version that is Luna one and to install that is to use SAP UI5 in Eclipse there are four steps mainly the first step would be to download and install JDK 1.7 so 1.7 JDK it is compatible with 4.4 Luna version of Eclipse that's why we will be using 1.7 and then second step would be to set the environment variables and to set the Java path and all and the third step would be to download the Eclipse version that is 4.4 and the fourth step would be to install SAP UI5 plugin in Eclipse so let's start with the first step that is to download JDK 1.7 and for that you just need to type in the Google download JDK 1.7 and you will be presented with this first URL that is the Oracle one so Oracle is offering different versions of JDK and for different other platforms for like for Linux, Solaris and Windows so here we will be seeing for Windows and for appropriate users you could use download 64 bit or 32 bit appropriately here I have already downloaded this Windows 64 bit so I am not going to again download it so just download it and click on next accept the license agreement and all you will be good to go and this would this was our first step now in the second step you need to just set the environment variables and for that just go to properties here you could see the advanced system settings now here go to environment variables now here you could see here I have already provided my Java path that is C program file Java GDK similarly you could also give your path wherever you have installed your GDK so that's done so two of us two of our steps are completed that is JDK and environment variables. Now the third step is to download Eclipse Luna version. For that you just need to type in Google Eclipse Luna download. So here you will be presented with the list of Eclipse versions here. So I am recommending this one Eclipse ID for Java EE developers. So download Windows version 64-bit um, or 32-bit or any other version that you may like maybe Mac or Linux anything so I have already downloaded the 64 bit one and I have already installed it so here I have already pinned it to my taskbar I will just start it so first at first it takes some time a pop-up is appearing here so this was our third step 
make sure to set the environment variables correctly otherwise it would show up an error in the start startup of Eclipse so our Eclipse is starting started you could see here now what you need to do is just okay I'm getting an error Android is DK don't mind it now what you have to do go to help and click on new software now you have to provide an SAP UIFI plugin URL and for that what you need to do is just go to Google and type in SAP UIFI plugin for Eclipse here it is and the first site would be this itself so this is the site here and here is the URL so I will just copy it and paste it here so my version of Eclipse is Luna but here I have type neon and basically I have already downloaded the UI development toolkit for HTML5 for Luna version so if I just write it Luna so it would show me an error that's why for presentation purpose I have written neon so if it, if you have downloaded Luna version please do type the Luna version here and you would be presented with same list of um, list here and what you need to do is just click on UI development toolkit for HTML5 and just go to next then you will be presented with an agreement certificate something kind of that and you just have to um, click on next here now here is the review licenses you just need to accept those and finish I am not going to finish it since I am using the Luna version so basically what happens when you finish is a pop-up will show with a progress bar it would take some time to install your SAP UIFI plugin in Eclipse but eventually it does and congratulations you have successfully installed SAP UIFI plugin in Eclipse so these were some steps basic steps for installing SAP UI5 in Eclipse so basically in the f one or two videos we will be uh, just using Eclipse de for development purposes but in the remaining videos what we will do we will configure our web ID that is SAP web ID um, it is cloud based ID that is provided by SAP for development purposes so we will be developing in SAP web ID later on just for sake of simplicity I just made a tutorial on this so just to ensure SAP UI5 is installed here what you will do just go to file and go to new and then to other here you will just type SAP so here you can see SAP UI5 application development application project so this is an SAP UI5 project that is appearing here so SAP UI5 is successfully installed in Eclipse here so in the next tutorial maybe we will all we will be also seeing a simple demo project in Eclipse itself so that's it for this video thanks for listening